Here I have the watercolour source book, 60 inspiring pictures to transfer and paint with full size outlines published by Search Press Studio. Now if you're not sure what is inside a source book, this is exactly why I've made this video. So a source book is not a step by step instructional guide, it is an inspirational book and it has full size outlines for people who are not confident at freehand drawing. So I think this book would appeal to people who have some prior knowledge of watercolour painting but struggle with their freehand drawing and just need some inspiration. So let's have a look inside. We have here the different authors, Jeff Kersey, Peter Woolley, Terry Harrison and Wendy Tate. So this book was published in 2022 and it lists the books that the information was taken from. So you could buy those books and use them along with this book if you need more detailed instructions. So especially for someone new to watercolour, it would be very beneficial if there's a, one of the artists that you really like. You didn't have to buy all of the books, but if there's an artist that you really like, you'd really benefit from having the step-by-step -step books as well. So we have the contents page, all the details of the projects on the landscape, flowers, trees and forest and the hills and mountains section. And then we have the outlines at the back. So the introduction just talks a little bit about um, what is in the book. With every painting is a list of the colours used and suggestions of which brushes to use, as well as some background information about the painting and the inspiration behind it. So we have transferring the image, two methods of doing that, composing from the outlines and it mentions that you can use elements to actually compose your own picture. So you don't have to copy each picture exactly as it is. We do have some advice on techniques and effects which is very helpful and creating washes. Then we have the landscape section by Terry Harrison. Now Terry was such a wonderful artist. He inspired so many people and his, I love his little country scenes and his buildings. So it's very nice that Terry's work is included in here. So you see we have the palette of colours here. Some information on how the actual painting was compiled. And it's the same for every picture. Each picture is labelled with the corresponding outline so you can see outline four here outline five so you can easily find the outline in the back of the book so it has lots of lovely pictures in here i really love terry's pictures Lots and lots of interesting variety here. Lovely thatched cottage. Just lots and lots to look at. Then we have the Wendy Tate section on flowers. Very beautiful flowers. We've got everything here from beautiful pastels to really bright poppies and sunflowers. Here Wendy mentions how she uses some of the colours to create her flowers. Really lovely splash of colour. So I think just to sit and look through this book, there is a, something in here for almost all artists. And there's often a time when you're sitting thinking, what shall I actually paint? And this is when you really need a source book like this with lots of variety in it. So you can sit down and flick through and work out what you actually want to do today. If you're like Meg, you want to do everything. Trees and Forests by Jeff Kersey. Now, Jeff is one of my favourite artists. I really love trees and I love the way he draws his and paints his trees. So this, to me, is a really exciting section. And there's lots of detail here. And Jeff actually went to New York to write one of his books so there's lots of information a bit of variety here it's not just uk i love this picture so this really is for people who love trees now who could fail not to want to draw a tree after looking at these 
So, and I do have a few of Jeff's books because I really, really do like them. Let's have a look here. So we have lots of variety again. Then we move on to Peter Woolley Hills and Mountains. So we have everything you need to create just a nice landscape picture or a floral picture. And it's lovely soft colours in these pictures. And I think this, if you don't know the artist, it's sometimes a bit daunting to buy a book by an artist you don't know their work at all. So in here, you can really get a good idea of the artist's work. There's quite a lot of information in this section as well of how you can use the colour and create different effects. So all in all it is a very helpful book and it's definitely a very inspiring book. I get to the end, missing pages here. I really like this one, that's very nice. And then we come to the index and then these 60 pages which are all numbered. So the number is corresponding here, it's not on the actual page. And then on the next section the number is here for number two. Now these will all go onto an A4 sheet of paper or an A4 pad. You don't need to take these pictures out of the book. I would suggest using the trace down because it is a lot easier. You can place your piece of paper in here, the trace down on top, and then you can trace out. If you do choose to use pencil, I would definitely protect the image underneath because otherwise it's going to get covered in graphite. So there we have all 60 outlines for you there. So I think this is a really helpful book. There are always going to be times when you're not sure what to paint. There's going to be times when you need some inspiration. And I think this will appeal to people who really need help with their freehand drawing that they're not confident. You've got your tracings there. Everything is full size. You haven't got to alter anything. And I think even if you are completely new to watercolour painting, a book like this is a great way to get to see four different artists and authors and their work and decide whether you want to go on and buy one of their individual books with all the step-by-step -step instructions. So I just think, yes, it's a lovely book. I very much enjoyed reading it through. It's just really if you're brand new to painting you won't get all the information in here that you need to complete the picture but you will definitely be inspired